Well, we, we're gonna make this video on the snow with some deep snow, but our season got cut short. It's about three months yeah. later. Yeah. And now we're ready to talk about it. Why well, I look beautiful out and I got shorts on. <laughs> we are Shaggy Scopper Country Skis. Skiing isn't just a sport to us, it's a way of life. Building skis turned our passion for skiing into a livelihood for our family. Follow along to get a glimpse into our small ski company. So we've got the 2021 Tubby. This is totally new. There's nothing, uh, nothing the same about it other than it's a super fun powder ski than the previous Tubby. But this is the, let's see, I'm thinking of a generation. We had the yellow one back there. That's one of the first prototypes that we ever made. We had that that's fully rockered, tip and tail, flat underfoot, and that is the, the fully symmetrical ski. So we had that one. We ran with that, we did that for two years. Then we did, we blown it off the tips a little bit more, and we had a different some new graphics. Then we went into, we actually went from a symmetrical shape to a tapered shape. That, we're still not even close to that one that you're holding. No, no but this is getting yeah, closer. Yeah, we're getting closer. So then we went to, once we got through that second generation, which was virtually the same shape, different ro updated rocker, and new updated rocker, and new tip and tail shape. Then we got to our, our like third incarnation of the puppy. Hubby has, over the past five years, it's been in a state of limbo. It's a, uh, a ski that at one point be, you know, supposed to be your ultimate powder ski that can rip out a hard pack, and then we released our Omic 105, and that shot everything in the foot. I mean, it killed, it killed sales across the board, you know, and you know, essentially it cannibalized everything. But it was great. Fantastic ski. We don't want to get rid of it, but Tubby it lost some of its personality. So back in December, I think December or January, it would have been December. December. We decided that Tubby needed a total overhaul, and at that point, the three of us got together. We just started thinking about our favorite powder skis that we've ever been on. You know, we weren't so hard packed. We wanted to get away from the fact that you know, skiing on a hard pack was what it needed to be able to do. So, well, it didn't need any versatility. Right. It, it needed to be the powder, the, the, that powder ski that we think out would just have a blast on. So, I, coming in just a couple years ago, I thought the Hubby and the Ami 115 had a lot of overlap. Like, so the, I always thought the Tubby could go more outer specific. The, the 115 has the float, but it also has the grip. Uh, so we did a kind of an in-between version. So we took a 115 and we softened up the flex a little and added a little more rocker to it and it made it flat on the foot. And I see Joe's had a lot of fun on them. Uh, we call those the Ryan Pro model. <laughs> yeah. The 115, the 186. Now, there's nice soft flex on those. And like fully rocking, flat under the floor. Yeah. So the nose kind of led into the new tubby. Yeah. So the new tubby, the flex was, I think, was a winner on this. On the, on the Ryan Pro model, as we'll call it. Real, real playful and forgiving in the, in the soft snow and even in some, some heavy crunch that we saw. This but it was still enough to push it through. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, I, got, I got in the back seat a few times on them and didn't feel like they were, you know, not squirrely, but fun. So then came to sitting upstairs on the computer. Working on these skis, so some of the 
really fun thing. The original like pure powder ski was the Perner. We made it in one length, a 190. It was uh, a super soft tip, a full pintail from about here down. A third of the ski had a pintail on it. So the first two thirds had tied up, and the bottom third didn't. It was super quick to just smear your tails around. You didn't even make it the regular turn shape on it. But it was extremely specific. It couldn't really carve it very well. So we said, hey, well, let's put some sort of pintail on there. Let's pin it in so you get more of that, that really surfy, maneuverable feel. Got that. It has, we actually squared off the tail. It does have a lot of rise, a lot of rocker in the tail. But you have that, so it's going to kind of keep you floating without rounding it over too much. And let's be honest, we'll put the two of them Fully rocked. We said there's no need for flat underfoot in a powder ski. No need. You know, I think the, the best part of the ski is its ability to come around. Uh, it doesn't hook up, it doesn't lock in. Uh, when you're ready to make that turn, it, it just releases in, in, on the steeps and uh, in the heavily treed areas. You can maneuver uh, that ski without hesitation, um, without fear of uh, not being able to make that turn. That's probably the best, uh, the best feature that, one of the features that I like the most is that ability. Because when you're on that, sitting on that ledge and you want to come around, it'll do it. And you don't have to think, uh-oh, is this going to happen? You just know it will. So what I really like about the W similar to what John likes, just the, the, being able to get out of a turn as much as anything. You know, you're skiing really tight trees, it's real nice to have a ski that's going to release and go the other way without a whole lot of effort. And, uh, definitely did that, but also you get the width and the length, you get some good flotation when the snow is really soft, and uh, pick up the speed a little when it opens up. So, the 2021 Tubby 120. What's it for? Skin powder. That's about it. You can get back down, you can run the groomers back down to the chairlift, no problem. It's fun, it's got side cut. But, it's fully rockered. And, I mean, I guess my favorite thing about it is when you're in pow, you can just slash and just whip it around. You just push your heels together and boom. You got a big powder spray, you're like, you can go sideways on that ski and it's not going to hook up for you until you lay in your edges. So it's super fun, maneuverable, floaty, uh, you know, floatier than, than you'll ever need. But let's talk about what's inside this ski. That really makes it all happen. So we've got a mid-light construction. You've got an ash and poplar hardwood core. You have carbon underneath the core, a lightweight track, so fiberglass top and bottom. So the mid-light construction is really going to give you that smooth, energetic feeling. It's like it's never going to, the flex is soft enough that it's never going to buck you when you don't want it to. With this flex, it's, it's soft enough that it's going to be forgiving, just like Ryan and my dad said. Like, it's going to be that ski that you can, you can just really smear into. And, you know, I say that, I'll give her a flex here, try to keep it on my foot. And you can see just how that ski flexes so much of the tip. And the tail. It's important to have that on the tail. That it's not overly stiff when you really want to kick out of that turn. You know, you want to release it. You don't want to have a bunch of effort. Just what, what these guys are talking about in the trees. Just skis. Boom, you're changing direction. You know, you, change, you make that direction change in powder and snow just blows overhead. So, super fun. You have a mini cap on the edge there. It's nice, it reduces top sheet chipping. It looks good. It you know adds that little layer of protection. You have a die cut base. You always got that shaggies on there, some bugs. And you know, it's just a super clean, minimal, clear graphic. We show off the wood. Every pair of tubbies is gonna be different. 
the graphic, graphic I say in air quotes, because it's just clear with black. So the next piece of wood that Ryan grabs to make core, it's gonna, it's gonna be different. It might not be yeah, as that, red tone. That, yeah, that red and ash, sometimes it's, it's rare to find. Yeah, sometimes it's all white. Yeah, sometimes you see a, a heck of a lot more green in the poplar. Underfoot, you see a little discoloration there. It's an additional binding mat. Really hold your, your binding screws in, so that's recessed down into the core. That's on every ski that we have now. Paper tail. Giant big rocker. Rocker tail. Just all around it. Good looking ski. I don't know. One, if you had one word to describe it, what is it, Ryan? It's, fun. it's, it's a an laugh. LOL. Yeah. It's a laugh out loud. It's going to make yeah. you laugh out loud. Yeah. This is a powder ski. This is an awesome complement to an Amic 95, even an Amic 105, a Brockway 90, a Brockway 80, even a Brockway 100. Even those skis that are in that 100, 105 width, it is different than those. It's going to give you a lot more flotation. If you're looking for a one ski quiver, this is not it. The powder tool. You want six to eight inches of snow at least to take it out. If it's four inches, take out your other skis because you're going to go through it. Complement your quiver with the Tubby 120. So Spencer, who's filming right now, when we were at Bohemia for the family vacation, he had not seen these yet. And I was following him, and he made maybe five turns, he stopped, and he looked at me, and just smiling the biggest smile and laughing out loud because these are so much fun. I mean, that's, that's the only testimonial you need. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Narrator says that is true. Very true. <laughs> okay, Ryan, how tall are you? I am about 5'8". And what length do you ski on? I ski in the 188. Does it feel long? No. How tall are you? About 5'9 and a half. And a half. Almost 5'10". I used to be 5'10". He, he said he was 5'11". He used to say he was 5'11". No, I never said I was 5'11". I said I was 5'10". And a half, maybe, but I've shrunk over the years because I'm old. What length do you ski? But I ski the 188. I always ski the biggest ski. It, it, it's and he doesn't short. even ski. Yeah, he never and even I'm goes old. out on big, and, on big terrain and, and in the last couple years. And I'm old. And I ski the big ski. <laughs> in tight trees. It does not feel like it's a long ski. No. For sure. If you're skiing on like an all mountain ski in like the 180 range, maybe even, I mean, you could even go you know, over that. Go to the 188. If you're skiing on an all mountain ski anywhere from you know, 168 to uh, maybe a you know, 174 in that range, go to a 180. You know, um, they're going to ski, they're going to maneuver really short. The Flex is soft, yeah, it has a backbone. Ski is rockers, but still can hold an edge. And it looks really good. I don't know how more to explain it than it looks good and it's fun. So this is the 2021 Tubby 120. If you have any questions, you want to know anything about it, let us know in the comments.